Hey guys, welcome to Franklin Woodworks. In a recent video, I made a computer table out of plywood. In this video, I'm going to make a computer workstation out of plywood. So, just like in the previous video, I pre-stained and pre-finished the plywood, and I even cut all of the pieces to size. I figured no one would want to watch me put on polyurethane and run plywood through my table saw. What makes this project interesting for me is my method of construction and how that affects the assembly. What I'm doing here is creating the feet for the desk. Since I need two, I'm going to make both of them at the same time. I do that by sticking the two pieces together with double-sided tape and marking out where I'm going to put in a contour. Now it's really difficult to mark on polyurethane with a pencil, so I used a marking knife and a straight edge and then filled the scratch made by the marking knife with a marker. Then I cut out the contour on the bandsaw, soften the corners on a belt sander, and give the edges a round over at the router table. And just to save video time, I rounded over almost everything before I started assembly. When I first sketched up the project, I was going to use dados in the side panels to hold the desktop and a shelf. But I figured out pretty quick that the side panels needed more beef. So I decided to create those dados without actually cutting any dados. I cut additional panels that I would attach to the large side panels, effectively creating three quarter inch dados and adding some beef. My workbench is the largest flat surface in my shop, so that's where I had to do the assembly. Making sure everything is nice and square from the start, I attach the feet with glue and countersunk screws. Then I can add the first panel using glue and tacking it into place with pin nails. Once that's done on both sides, I can put the desktop into place. I put a little glue in the fake dado and tack the desktop into place. Then I added aprons on the sides with pocket screws to give the desktop a little more support. Then added aprons in the front and back to give the desktop strength and to keep it flat. Now I can add the panels above the desktop that will also support the shelf. This is also done with glue and pin nails. I also tacked on a piece on the front of the desktop to give it a heftier look. Next I added a stretcher that is made of two pieces of plywood laminated together. I attached the stretcher using three and a half inch countersunk screws. The shelf goes on the same way as the desktop, and an apron in the rear gives the shelf strength without decreasing the size of the opening in the front. Then I tack in the final pieces that will give the side panels a continuous look. After sanding all the exposed edges of the plywood, I give everything a good coat of paste wax. So this is a simple, functional computer workstation that is designed to fit into the existing cubicles where I work. And the construction method can be adapted to any size project. I'd appreciate it if you could give this project a thumbs up and you could even share it with your friends. Hope this gives you some good ideas. Thanks for watching, and there you go.